Welcome to Gistic Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you three simple ways that you can find the most search keywords. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first way I'm going to be showing you is Google Trends. Um, this link will be down in the description. It'll be the first link. So go ahead and click on that and it will take you to this website. And here you want to go on the, the hamburger bar in the top left and go to explore. Okay, so here's where you want to type your keyword. But first, we're going to um, change some settings. Oh yeah, and underneath that, um, this is the top rising worldwide. So here you can change, um, you can pick a specific country. I'm just going to leave it on worldwide. And right here you can select the time period in which you want to browse the keywords. So I'm going to pick the last seven days. That's what I like to pick. It's the most popular in the last um, week. And right next to that you can pick the categories and you can choose a topic. And it will just further... Um, filter your searches to make it more accurate to give you more accurate results So I'm just going to leave it on all categories for the moment and lastly you want to um, you can pick whether you want a um, Whether you want the top web searches the top image searches the top news searches YouTube Google shopping searches So I'm just gonna leave it on web search because that is what people type into Google and that's what we want to know So next you just want to search for the term I'm just going to use the term office and then um, it will give you recommendations down here but I want the search term here it will show you the interest over time in that search these numbers um, represent the highest point of searches in at a period of time so if it's at um, 50 that's comparing it to when it was at 100 interest do you get what I'm saying if not just read this it makes more sense so a value of 100 is a peak popularity for the term. A value of 50 means that the term is half that popularity. And down here you get um, the top countries that were searched in. And if you hover over the countries, it will tell you the search interest. Um, so down here we have related topics and related queries. So this is what people search with the office. So the office reunion is obviously the most popular and scoob box office which is surprising i didn't think that would be up there so you can do that with any keyword to maximize your your tags for your youtube videos or just search engine optimization in general so you can also look at the trending searches and this will give you trending searches for like today the past day or well, this was yesterday sorry american idol had over 500,000 searches in the United States alone. So you can adjust that to your country if you want. I'm just going to leave it on United States. It is the hub for entertainment at the moment. If you want real-time search trends, um, this will give you search trends in the last 24 hours and it will let you know what's on the rise, like the top Eddie, whoever Pearl Jam dude, whatever this is, had a spike in popularity in the last 24 hours, but it is slowly declining. Well, uh, Gypsy Moth, which is a threat to Washington state apparently, is on the rise. Um, so if you go up here in the top right, this is the categories. You can choose which categories that you want the real-time search trends for. I'm gonna go sci-fi um, sci slash tech, oh, sci-fi, science slash tech, sorry. I don't know why that's on here. So video games is obviously on here. And we've got some SpaceX news, which has been pretty popular for the last 24 hours. So yeah, that's basically how you use Google Trends. Use that for your liking. If you're happy with that, um, thank you for watching this video, but if you would like a second method, stick around. Okay, so go to the second link down in the description and it will take you to this website. It's called wordstream.com and it will take you to the keywords part of the website where you can search for the most popular keywords. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter a keyword down in here or a URL. I'm just gonna say SpaceX. So it can be a phrase, like I put a space in between space and X, so it doesn't have to be one word. It can be a word or a phrase, and that's still counted as keywords. So if you want to, again, this has um, industries, if you want to further filter the, the search and a location. So you can go ahead and type your location in here. I'm just going to leave it on United States. So this website's good because it will give you um, the actual search volume, how many searches have been made on Bing over any given month, and it will let you know the competition for these search words. Um, these are the related keywords that um, to do with SpaceX. So obviously Elon Musk is next, NASA, space, SpaceX launch. And um, the search volume is the amount of searches um, 
over a given month on Google, I believe, or any Google partners. So Elon Musk has a, um, a million. This is just an average. It's definitely not whole numbers. I'm pretty sure they're just rounding it up. This website's also good because it gives you the cost per click for any marketing campaign campaigns that you may want to run on Google AdWords or any other Google partners. So as you can see, SpaceX stock, while it doesn't have a high search volume, it has a high cost per click. So you wouldn't want to advertise your website on that keyword. Like SpaceX news would be a, a lot better option. That's why this website is good. And and over here, it also has a cost per click for Bing. It's a lot cheaper, obviously, because not as many people use Bing. Google kind of has a monopoly on the search engine game, yo. And again, it has the competition on the side here. So on the free version, it only shows you the top 25 keywords. But I believe that is enough. You don't need to go all the way down to 500. Like You can just go, say, um, Elon Musk is at the top. So we just replace this with Elon Musk, and it will give us the related searches to that, which was related to SpaceX, which is now related to Tesla. So you can use these keywords. If I have Tesla on, um, let's just say, beauty and fitness, for example, I'm pretty sure no one's putting Tesla in a beauty and fitness section of their website. And if they are, it's very stupid. All right, so that's it for WordStream. In my opinion, WordStream is better than Google Trends. Google Trends has a steeper learning curve than WordStream. So if you're just starting to get into search engine optimization, I recommend WordStream over Google Trends. Okay, the third method is using Google Autocomplete. So most of you know when you type a word into Google, let's just type Apple. Um, it'll come up with the with autocomplete options. So anyone who searches for Apple, so I'm in Australia at the moment, so these are the top um, search. So these would be the top keywords for Apple in Australia. So Apple Store, Apple Watch, and anything like that. Or we could do space X. That's one word, my bad. And there we go, SpaceX News, SpaceX Starship. And you can use any of these as your keywords. So you can also, you can just press down on your keyboard to um, the down arrow, sorry, to select any of these. And if you put a space after, it will have, it will have no recommendations after that keyword. And you can keep doing that until you run out of keywords. <laughs> That is it for this video. Um, if this did help you, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well. If you do have any problems with this video, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Also leave any recommendations for new videos in the comments below as well. And you will be credited if I do decide to make that video. And yeah, that is it from me. Peace out.